Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you're receiving payment at the time of sale and fill out a sales receipt, QuickBooks records a customer payment. When you invoice a customer and you receive payment on that invoice at a later point in time, you enter the payment into the QuickBooks Receive Payments window. This allows you to match the customer payments to the customer invoices. You can open this window by selecting Customers from the menu bar and choosing the Receive Payments command. The simplest payment case occurs when a customer has one outstanding invoice and sends you a payment for the full amount. However, you can also enter partial payments if you receive those. You can even select to which invoices you apply the payment amount received. If you have one payment, you can also apply that amount to multiple invoices as well. QuickBooks can also handle prepayments, down payments, and overpayments. In this chapter, you will look at the different ways that you can handle customer payments. To enter a full payment that you receive, start by selecting the customer or customer job from whom you are receiving the payment by using the Received From drop-down in the Receive Payments window. Any unpaid invoices for the selected customer or customer job will then be displayed at the bottom of the window. Then select the date that the payment was received by using the Date Calendar drop-down. Next, enter the amount of the payment into the Amount text box. Use the Payment Method drop-down to select the method of payment. You can enter a check number into the check number field if payment was made by check. At the bottom of the window, ensure that you have a check mark placed in front of the invoice against which you are receiving payment. Note that all funds received within this window are placed into the undeposited funds account by default. When you've finished receiving customer payments, simply click the Save and Close button to save and close the Receive Payments window. If you have other customer payments to process, then you may find that it's easier to simply click the Save and New button to save the transaction, but leave the Receive Payments window open so that you can continue entering customer payments. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.